today I'm in Hythe doing a short walk along the Royal Military Canal. I started at the Romney Hythe and Dimchurch Railway in Hythe and I'm walking to West Hythe to a place called Unit One which is a, a fairly new establishment I believe that sells fine local ales and does good food. Thursdays is homemade pizza day. They make it in front of you to order and it happens to be Thursday. And if you watch this channel, I'm partial to a bit of fine local ale and good food. So why don't you come along for this three kilometer walk along this lovely canal. This is actually the first time I walked along this canal uh, or at least along this section from Hythe to West Hythe. So let's go explore. The Royal Military Canal runs some 28 miles from the east side of Hythe near Seabrook all the way down to Hastings. It was built in the early 1800s to help prevent Napoleon invading. And it obviously worked because here I am speaking English and I don't eat snails. The canal has had 200 years to mature and the trees and plant life around here is looking rather wonderful. Fantastic habitat for wildlife. So we may even see some things today. Uh, I'm sure we'll see ducks and swans. Uh, you usually see them on the canal. got a choice of footpaths along this canal on the south or north side. I started with the south side from the railway station and I've come to my first bridge so I thought I'd cross over and walk on the north side. On the north side you've got access to a lot of nice countryside. There's some nice hills up there that go up to Lim. There's trails up there so if you want to do a detour or if you want to create a loop there's lots of opportunities. Sides, a little less maintained, a little bit wider, very pleasant. I've just come off the path. I'm going to do a very quick detail, or not so much detail, I'm just going to have a quick nose over here because here is a footpath. I said there were footpaths and then three seconds later, here's one of the access points to the hills. No public right of way, permissive path if used at own risk. And there are, uh, there's a marker there and there's a marker up on the hill. So obviously people can go up there and walk at their own risk. Looks wonderful. Yeah, gonna have to, gonna have to come back. I've got a pizza with my name on it to go to now. surrounded by countryside all around us. It's beautiful. I would say that the best side of the canal to walk on is definitely the north side. It's wider, more open, more, it's just more interesting actually. What I've noticed is there are lots of rest spots along the way. Benches, seats, great if you want to have a, bring a packed lunch and have a picnic. Really, really impressed with this little 
area of the canal. I just bumped into a chap walking his dog and he said, you really need to walk along further than I'm going. I told him I'm going to the, to the brewery. And uh, apparently there are lots of butterfly varieties around here as well as uh, a huge variety of bird life. There's a bridge here that I cross to meet my friends and do some drinking and eating in that order, of course. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to walk back or not. Um, but what a fantastic walk. I'd highly recommend it. But we're not done yet. Let's go and, uh, let's go and see this, this cool place. Let's do a little bit of tourism reporting now. Switch gears. Oh, look at that view. Forget all this walking around on your can along the canal and all that old nonsense. We're taking over this video. It's going to get more interesting from here on. Oh, hello. We're here today to talk about waterfowl. No, sorry, pizzas. There you go, I should show you the menu. That's it, please send your orders to wherever we are. Thank you, good night. Yes, pizzas, more interesting than waterfowl on the canal. Give it up to me, baby. 